My name is Brishni Mukhopadhyay. I work at a firm called Western Asset Management, where I'm co-chair of the firm's ESG platform and the firm's ESG product specialist. Western Asset is a part of Franklin Templeton Investments. I've previously worked in the asset management and investment banking industry for about over a decade. I also chair the Chartered Financial Analyst Institute's ESG Advisory Board, along with other industry initiatives. Within CISL, I'm pleased to be a senior associate. So within CISL, I am one of the tutors within the PCSB program. That's a postgraduate certificate for sustainable business. But I also teach a course in the PCSD program, the Sustainable Diploma program. Both great programs for anybody that's looking to try and get that leadership perspective to try and implement it back within their organizations. My core focus tends to be within finance, something, an area that I work in. Uh, and one that I'd heartily recommend to anyone who's considering this as a career trajectory. Sustainability, ESG, impact, and the alphabet soup that's out there in the universe, if you will, there needs to be a reckoning in terms of the hard definitions of what each of these terms entail. And that's something that business is grappling with, that regulators are struggling with, and the industry really needs to step up to try and define what it is in the marketplace before others do. Once that's then defined, it then becomes imperative to design, say, a proper solution to try and implement that. And that's where somewhere like CISL can come in and try and really shape that dialogue going forward. Systems change is absolutely key for progress moving forward. The experience that CISL has, based on a number of decades, the experts that CISL can try and rope in, the ability of CISL to plan out proper, well thought out solutions, pathways, are really what drives this particular systems change. Here we are at an institution that can really shape that conversation going forward. One of the key advantages that CISL has is its ability to try and act as a great forum to attract industry leaders, regulators, policy makers, academics and practitioners to A, understand what is important from a systems change perspective, B, its relevance contextually for sectors, C, from a geographic perspective, and D, what that means from the future. I think one of the things that I've often found out from a financial perspective is say, what does biodiversity really mean? And a lot of asset owners are asking that same question. There's been some great work done by CISL within sustainable finance that looks at biodiversity from its implications to the, for the asset management and asset owner industry and one that I'd recommend to everyone.